There we go. Uh, ahoy, everyone. And, uh, ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian uh, today, along with... The fierce and first mate Drakir at your service, along with Sandwich 1, Sandwich 2, Sandwich 3. Uh, well, the character in game doesn't have a sandwich, but he does have toast. <laughs> and welcome back to <laughs> Minecraft All the Mods 7, which, yeah, I've been doing a bit of work off screen again, but again, part of that got deleted uh, due to the, the game just refusing to save uh, properly, apparently. So if that does continue, we may have to stop with this because... It's going to be really annoying to rebuild the same fucking guard tower every time. Yeah. No, maybe don't quit Minecraft, but we might need to do a new map. Uh, it, maybe we should uh, go back to all the mod 6, which should be a lot more stable. It'll probably have a lot less of the... Well, it, it'll have lost a lot less of the modern stuff, since I think that was version 1.12 and this is version 1.18 are you it sure should be a little more stable i think it's the almost six that has the fire and ice thing and you were a bit worried for the dragons uh it also has a lot of extra mods that it has a bunch of extra tinkers mod that's allow for uh, equipment to level up to make so you can put extra updates not not, not updates upgrades on it to uh, make them even stronger. But, yeah. Uh, some of the things did survive in my inventory, among which uh, some more amethyst bronze that I made. And I also upgraded our hammer to be amethyst bronze with a an iron handle and an amethyst bronze plate. I'm still keeping that stone plate because we should be able to still repair its width. <clears throat> Pardon. We should still be able to repair it with uh, <clears throat> stone that way. Uh, All right. Beyond that, I did... Let's actually head for the boat. I, I went for the old spot where the <laughs> warp stone was. Uh, yeah. I did clear uh -oh. all of this out, uh, mostly. Uh, let's see. The D is here. Clear out the foundry. Uh, not cut into that yet. Permanent mage light. I'm not sure if they are permanent still but you can layer on a hell of a lot of extra extend time so they are practically uh, permanent i guess i misread that i misread to break that mage light <laughs> and just have, haven't gotten to all the money i actually found some um and it seems that did get that got deleted as well because I put it. I had put it in the bag to try and preserve it, but no, that got deleted as well. At the very least, I have a bit a general idea of where it is because the map has also been preserved of my travel, and it was here that I found it. These peaks oh, are high enough to have all the modium in them. We'll just have to uh, get back there, though. Yeah, let me guess. The waystone you put there is the not save. Yep. Okay, at the very least, we have this one that is close somewhat. So we could go there and use the brooms to fly over quickly. Or now, though, having to claw this thing all the way back to where we are... It would be nice if this had a if this mod had a center on player button or something. There we go. I kind of surprised it, does, it doesn't have that. Um, also, let's I've see. I've also been looking to the mod. Like apparently you can do airship with this mo uh, mod. It's a more of a more advanced version of the whole uh, slime piston thing where you go slowly. Because, uh, uh, for me, it looked a bit more. Like a clumsy thing, but there is a mod called Airship Mod. We seem to be more practical. Yeah, I I found one, but that only has pre-made airships. A quarter gear uh, still haven't gotten to that. The one Place I saw was not pre-made. Okay, you'll have to link it to me then, because I couldn't uh, find a, a different one. Uh, it should be easy just to uh, write uh, Airship Mod Jerome. 
Um, there is over a year old video, so I don't know if that mod is up to date or not. Okay. I'd also made a pickaxe with silk touch, not through the spell, um, not through the enchanting table here, but through Tinker's mod, but that seems to have been eaten as well. So this is getting really annoying as to what gets preserved and what doesn't. Hmm. And we got another broom from duplicate accidental duplication as well. Um, let's see. For that silk touch, which we need to make our blaze for. So I'm, I've put the game to run on more uh, memory, which seems to have sped up the saving process, though I didn't move out far. Oh. Chunks in the guard tower reclaimed. I think that it that hasn't changed, so I'm thinking that was the uh, guard tower that was already completed. So it was just catching up on that. Um, hmm. Uh, what we could do is we could make the silk touch through thinker, uh, thinkers, and then get one of the blaze spawners so that we can have our bla blaze blood forts, but we run the risk of losing it if the save fucks up again. So, for now, actually... There is no concern. Let's... Let's just travel over to here, create a, a waypoint MM because it's a mountain mine that I named it earlier. And which of these was closest? Yeah, it's a it's a very, very long distance from the last points that we have. I also ran across this here, which were apparently called which are apparently called Thornborn Towers. Uh, if there's enemies that supposed to spawn in there, they didn't when I was there. Okay. Ray Kratten. Are you telling right. me? Unless that enemy spawns in there, you may have found a free base? Sort of. It It is it is very spacious actually. Uh, let me let's see which of these are the fast one again. It's these ones, the dark ones. Okay. And also there's something that's rather annoying with this is that every time you start up these, all of the waypoints show up again. And well, we have quite a few. <laughs> what the heck? For now though, it's just one long ass journey over this way and hello. I'm glad we don't have these beam lights in Valheim. Yeah, that would look rather odd in that. We probably should get started on that sometime soon again, because it has yeah. been months. Yeah. No, I put me gonna wait still a bit, like a small bit of it's on friends, and they have since then fixed some problems that apparently happened uh, for multiplayer. But I do looking forward to do it again as quick mistlands come. Okay. Because we Sounds basically reached the end of what they had, save for the the, the drug in the dragon mother, I believe. Dragon mother and the final, that current final boss, the Jarl, or whatever his name was. Okay. Uh, that's <laughs> misspelled. You know, waypoint over there is at a dungeon type called the Scorched Mines. I didn't actually yes. check in there because the entrance is actually blocked off with lava. The, and well, it wasn't write, what I was looking for. Do you actually name it Scorch Mice? And you know, Scorch Mibes. <laughs> oh. I don't even think Mibes is an actual word. And hello. Maybe somewhere. Okay, obelisk. All right, curious. And I th what is this here? Okay, it's one of those crypts. We still haven't explored any of those, but there's no real need to f at the moment. Getting called, so give me a second.
Are you back? In case you are. Yep. Th there we go. <laughs> <sighs> You'd think people would stop freaking interrupting when you're streaming, but that's like the fifth time over three streams or something. Don't you have a don't disturb thing on the door? I do, but it doesn't help much if they're downstairs and screaming. Uh, oh. Yeah, for a while, every time someone started calling me, I just went downstairs. And... Many times I just went downstairs just to avoid having the people scream up to me or something. To, to my surprise, ever since I got these headphones, unlike the, when I had used the other headphones in the past, people don't call for me as much anymore. Okay. For once. Hmm. Has it actually changed the biome or something? Yeah. Nope. I don't have a habit to uh, inform uh, my mother and others that I have a stream. That I prefer not to be called during uh, those times. Okay. okay, it didn't change the biome, so we should still be good with this. That is good. Okay. I remember it should be on this peak here that... Oh, actually, it, wait, it did save... Oh, what the... It saved part of my work. I, hmm, let's see, if the, uh, also I made a netherite pickaxe just for, to collect the, uh, all the modium since it requires that, uh, it, it should be somewhere around here, I think. Oh, I thought it would be in deeper. Now uh, you can find it deep, but the primary way that it, it says that you can find it is by build, digging up uh, on high mountains that are up above uh, <clears throat> above Y170. Okay. Hmm. I know it was somewhere around here. I even bought out this stupid uh -oh. prospector hammer. I heard something. Hmm. I hear a sheep. <laughs> That's not a sheep. Yeah, we're goats. That's... Yeah, don't piss them off. Uh, well, with and... the Solium sword, I don't think they can stand much of a chance. Uh, I, I'm not joking, Helian. They have known for, to kill players by knocking them off a mountain. Okay. Basically, yeah, you almost won't do you a damn thing if you fall off from the very top of a mountain. Well, then it's extra good that we're actually just excavating the entire damn thing. So they can't knock us into anywhere. There it is. There it is. Okay, so it's still here. And it does need netherite to be mined. So here we go. Oh, the and... It's also a cheesy name. Yeah. And with this now, we can finally make one of those... Uh, Mining turtles. But first off, um, let's put. Behold, hit people! Helion, power rate captain, alchemist, artificer. Getting bloody annoyed with this game. Okay, that transmutation well. table. <laughs> I give you to add the annoyed. I think I just heard a fox, or snow fox to be accurate. For now, put this down here. <clears throat> and then we head back to the hill drake. And we could smelt it as is, but it would be a lot smarter if we process it first. So let's get down to the colony. Uh, actually, no. We don't need to. Back to the ship. Oh, and that was... That was the Do Not Disturb sign falling off the door because the hook, you know, his glue gave up. Okay. Oh, you poor thing. Uh, okay. I just gotta make something quick with this. This and that. And these. This makes an ore hammer, which we can actually use to, well, 
multiply our stuff or and make some stuff like const constantin rod what the whatever that is but yeah we can use that to duplicate ores into dusts so we just right put go. these here and then we have six all the modiums that we can get you know, all the modium bars that we can get I thought you were to mix your toast with the aluminium. <laughs> that would be an interesting taste, probably. If any. Okay. It's probably a bit hard to digest. Once these are smelted, I'm actually going to quit the world. Hopefully that will actually save this stuff here for now. Actually, maybe that is something we should do every now and then, just in case to ensure that the world is safe properly. Yeah, of resetting unless, I can, uh, unless I can confirm I see a backup successfully save or something. It hasn't done that. At, it hasn't done that till now. Yeah, how long does it take for it to do the backup? I don't know, actually. We'll probably... Actually, we wouldn't find out uh, now because we didn't. We, the game was started already before the stream started. Uh, but yeah, is doing this to hopefully save that stuff. Uh, earlier we tried this again, and the game would just go back to the main menu. So hopefully it'll do that again. If not, we'll be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, mm. or, or also we would say maybe use some mod like better Minecraft then add the Tinkers mod. Yep. So that's a bit yeah. more smaller packets and not have... How many biomes does this mod have? The biomes I don't know. With the mods it's about 300. But yeah, yeah if we keep running into issues, it'd be better to reboot, you know, restart in all the mod 6, which should be a lot more stable. Hopefully, no, if we do restart in either all mod 6 or all mod 7 or a smaller mod pack, then maybe do the, maybe this time we do the colony on the surface. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure, we can hang out with me a mountain if possible. In a sense, well, would make it easier for the miners, but yeah. So the only annoyance then would instead be making the walls. Uh, like, well, with what I had planned with uh, piston gates, which, well, the, the version at the portal room wasn't going to work anyways, uh, I'd have to build five uh, wide walls anyways, so, yeah, <laughs> I don't think anything would be able to get through that or over it if we build it high enough. Yeah, no, I think barbarians could climb over it since they, I think they left a ladder on the last invasion for at the weirdest place. True, but if we just put a lip on the edge, they wouldn't be able to get over that, similar to spiders. Yeah, so having a moat and matriculations, I think it's called? Don't know what it sounds wrong. Uh, it's a there very long word. And it, you know how in Castle Wallace where you have the wall extended outward from the wall. I used to have holes for you to dump down things through. Like yeah. dropping rocks. That's called matriculations. Okay, I, I think they're it, also just called battlements or something. That's a more broader term, I think. Uh, it, it's kind of a mean word from Shadowversity. Okay. Hey. Hmm. He even have a he even sells shirts with the word. But yeah, now he, this will also show to anyone watching how long it takes for this to load in. Yeah, it loaded in faster earlier. Actually, earlier was way faster. Uh, that could also be because VC Face and OBS are running and taking away memory that it could be using. And oh, it's it's at the halfway point, I think. Right? And yeah, oh, there we go. 
Okay, yeah, okay. It, 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 it ain't too slow. We have had it way slower than this. Yeah, I, I up. Like I said, I upped the amount of memory that this ha that the game can use from 10 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. Because apparently at 10, it was peaking out at some times, uh, which I think was also probably causing some problems here and there. But yeah, at, at the least we now know that we can quit the world and have things hopefully remain. Well, yeah. <laughs> there's the answer. <laughs> wait, wait. Ooh, jeez. The cheese on her. Give, give it. Give me the cheese. <laughs> give it. I think that cheese is a bit too rich for you. Is that a shop the bag? Give. Ooh, candy sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I can see Helios face. Just walking in, into his uh, captain, captain cabin just to see me shooing with his sword. <laughs> Uh, actually, I was thinking about something. Um, I was thinking about commissioning someone to do a uh, a bit of art or make a, a different avatar for you that is more drawn. I was thinking about possibly just mixing the current one that you have with uh, the dragon no. fairies from Sanzara. Oh. How does that sound? Maybe better than the monstrosity you showed me the other day. <laughs> Which is basically his current model, the current uh, picture, but with a one of those propeller hats. Extreme version of it, a metal propeller hat, and it's a big no no. <laughs> so if I were to have a drawn art, I would probably be, want to be an ice kobold, you know, like a, you know, the tiny dragons, but an ice version. Okay. Ice snowish, but with a beard, and I probably would be happy. My only concern would be, I suspect that uh, people would find me extremely cute. <laughs> and we oh, have only two people being complimented as calling me cute on doing the streams. <laughs> uh, let's see, we need gold for this. But we really don't have right. any at the moment. Hmm? I, I still need to get my revenge on noon for booping my nose yesterday. Uh, let's see, gold. We need five of these. The reason that I'm getting copper and uh, gold is because together they make rose gold, which is needed to make the silk touch upgrade in Tinkers. Okay. And actually, I might be overdoing it a bit. I I think this is actually going to... Yeah, that's <laughs> that's actually ten. That, But oh well, makes it e easier to get out. That was the blood still. Oh, well, now that that's been cleared out, we don't have to deal with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, this uh, is a good design. Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, just, I'll just quick finish this quickly. Uh, 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 sort of, the silk touch upgrade is by making five silky, uh, silky cloth, or whatever it was called, which is made with well, rose gold and string. Uh, now you can finish what you were saying. I will say this is a nice design you have here for your uh, forge. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. Yeah, you... you can actually make it 14 by 14 on the inside. Holy! Yeah. But that would particularly mean you could have a lot of it hidden behind a wall. I just use one side in front of it for everything yeah. else. Actually... Or... Uh, should you or me... Uh, yeah, you continue. Uh, right, I was say, or you could just put it in the center and just use all the walls around it. <laughs> Dude, that would probably be more... Pra uh, yeah, that, 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 that would be more of a massive industrial, industrial use. Uh, let's see, now we'll just... I'm not going to make... Actually, should I make this thing? Do we have any... Is we still have three upgrades that we can put on this thing. But this is, besides our hammer, this is our main mining pick. So I'd rather make something besides that. How good, how good is rose gold as a material? Let's have a little check. We should have the book that also got duplicated. 
Uh, can I do it actually? In some ways? Let's see. Rose gold. Where is that in here? Where is that in here at all? Oh, they have rose gold. 175 and gold. No, that's. We need stronger than that. Actually, if I remember correctly, we should be able to make one thing that can mine. Has the strongest amount. Strongest mining speed. Not that. Not that either. Hmm. Imperium, no. Or maybe we should just go with something that can mine dime has diamond strength. No, we already uh, saw diamond that. Diamond or nether. For some reason, the book gets caught on the tier four materials, where it'll just cycle through it, even if you try to leave it. Let's see. Diamonds, diamond. Netherite, night metal. I don't think we can actually smelt that, though. We actually need to get stuff from that. I know uh, where you get it from. Yeah, from the Twilight Forest. Yep, from yeah. what I think are some sort of night golems. And you can make weapons and armor from them. Okay. And I, I forgot if they are good or not. So, according to this, they are probably about very good. Well, and might be good enough to replace your armor. We'll have to see. For now, though, I we, let's go with amethyst bronze instead. We should put uh, some more oh, lava in there as well. I should probably warn you, if you do go there, to face the night golem thingies. Um... There will something will go wrecking ball on you. <laughs> Good. Hopefully that gives you an idea of a warning, I mean. <laughs> yeah, they the Twilight Forest can be pretty tough from all I know, and it wait, it's not three. How many is that? Okay, two ingots. That used to be three, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they had an update? It could be that the, the new version in Aldermod 7. I'm pretty sure it was three ingots in Aldermod 6. But I guess I we'll think, just have to I figure that out ingots... if we do move back. I think it was a free last time, actually. Hmm. So uh... it might have uh, had some updates. For some of these mods have been having updates lately, like uh, two streams ago. Was it... And when we started this, there were no druids in Colony. Uh, there the still are but there is a counter for them now, I think. Yeah, you can get druids now. I mean, now we started this, druids were not even an option to get. Uh, yeah, druids. Okay. Yeah, they are very new. So these uh, they've been added in middle of our streaming, basically. Yeah. Uh, I did notice when looking through, uh, when looking through stuff. On the, the Curse Forge launcher that I've been using for this, that uh, some of the mods have or can get updated, though I'm not sure if I should, because I don't know if that might break stuff. And, okay, all of these seem to have been made cheaper. And actually, let me let me get the book one more time, because the extra bits. That, that just gives the amount of durability that uh, a headpiece would give as well. So we want something that is very strong. Slime steel I made er I made earlier, but it well it didn't survive the well the duplicating or however we would call it. Actually we have we have amethyst right freaking here, and that's also pretty strong. For slime steel we'd have to well move stuff around and make some new stuff this this is just a lot easier to get here so we put all of that in need to uh -oh. yes it is okay there we go amethyst bronze 900 endurance or durability where did i get endurance from okay now we take that move over here and then we fill all of these with silky cloth and there we go now we have a silky amethyst bronze pickaxe. Which means <laughs> it has silk touch. Ooh, this is nice. 
So, to make ourselves our Blazing Blood Forge... There we go. Yep. What is this? Collect a mob spawner using Silk Touch. Okay. <laughs> and we still have the other one around the corner here, I think. Yep. So if we want to, we could still come back here, but we don't really have too much of a reason to, since now we have this. Yep. And also, that room was covered in ash, right? Uh, the walls were covered with something. I th Let's actually go look back. No quartzite sand. Uh, all right, then... Then I guess Nether has not frozen over. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if eventually a biome for that is uh, started. Okay, but it seems that colony work gets interrupted whilst we're in the Nether, which makes sense. It doesn't load in this. Yeah, that does make, se that does make sense. Um, thank you for the mental image of uh, biome covered in blood snow. <laughs> okay. Let's get ourselves some seared bricks. Wait, that's a movie called... Blo uh, uh, no, wait, no. No, that's called Dead Snow. Now, I did what? make... I, I did make something like this in the creative mode. But I'll need to double check what size it can... Uh, it has to be. Um... You should but take a note of that. <laughs> basically, what I'm going to be doing is to build up the forge quite a bit. And then we put the blaze spawner in the middle of it. Or at least just above it. Because having the blaze spawner in the forge actually invalidates whatever is above it. Oh, dear. And we have... You should probably still go to the Netherlands for... Wait. <laughs> Ah, the Nether, I meant, not Netherlands. <laughs> Go to the Nether, get a basalt and all that for some other build projects. Like the Arcane Forge, if you even need that then again. Yeah. Um, let's see, do we have some... Okay, we have some sand still here, but not enough glass. Actually, I have to ask... What was your first reaction to when people started to do uh, Netherland jokes about the Nether? I don't think they've ever, ever. I don't think I've ever actually seen Netherland jokes being made about the Nether. Yeah, sorry. That is Markiplier and Jack Sapnica had done it. Jack Sapnica was probably one of the few that went that extra mile and next to his port in the nether made the netherland flag and wrote on a sign welcome to the netherlands i actually but i completely missed those I, I actually haven't seen them play minecraft like ever i think i've only seen them one of their uh, minecraft videos as a group and that was when they were drunk as all hell yeah that was more from occupier jackson guy only re i think it was during the pandemic, he played Minecraft for the first time. Okay. So it's yeah. sort of still... But, okay, two years is not old, new or really old, but... At least recent compared to uh, other YouTuber... YouTuber... YouTubers. Uh, let's see, I think this will be about high enough. For the spawner to work, otherwise we can just pick it up again with Silk Touch. And I don't want to fall in this thing because we'll get freaking burnt again. Again, okay. let's not put the wool sweat and blood literally here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about adding a mob spawner somewhere as well, eventually. Which we have as an experience grinder. Well, there is a magic thing in the Ars Novus, but... Uh, uh, I don't know how to say that. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that word really well, without sounding like a swearing. 
But apparently you can make a thing that can instant kill any mobs that goes near it and collect uh, just get up all the experience near itself so you can collect it yourself. Okay. So it could simplify uh, mob farming just... Yeah, you just visit a little uh, obelisk thing. And just get all the experience. Okay, I think I've heard of something similar being done by some mods. Uh, let's see. Only really many ladder. mods that does that. Okay, see it breaks and see it breaks. Uh, do we? St I think we still have some of the normal bricks laying around, or the loose bricks. Wait. Yep, there we go. And these, are, that's actually <laughs> exactly enough. Well, one extra, but okay. Just gonna go and grab something. So, okay. don't fall in and die. Let's throw those away. And that. Okay. Now we can get seared ladders out of this thing, which should make it a lot easier to climb the down thing. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Actually, I only really needed to pull out three since we already had three. There well. Okay, now we plug this thing up. And back. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, there is one extra thing that we had talked about earlier, like in the very first or second stream, I think. Uh, that is going to be useful with this. Uh, actually, I need to open this thing up because we still need to put in the, <laughs> the spawner, of course. So, just there. And there. Now, we should be able to just put the spawner here. And as long as everything outside of this thing is lit up well enough, it should prevent the spawn the blazes from spawning outside of it. And if not, then <laughs> well, we'll have to run and hide. Oh dear. Okay. There we go. Now that should start spawning the blazes in here. And just to be certain. It, oh wait. Maybe we should finish this off quickly. <laughs> and there we go, blazing blood. <laughs> and these will continuously spawn into this thing. Just gotta keep careful about them spawning outside of it. Uh, are the ones right over there? Yeah, you're not getting with that easily. <laughs> there is actually more that we can do with this spawner, since we can actually tinker with them. Let's see. Let me just bring them up. This is here. so cruel! Spawn them up. Well, it's a bit less cruel once you understand that these things would burn us on sight. <laughs> okay. We can actually do... Yeah, we can actually modify these things to well, ignore lights, to have more and maximum amount of entities spawns, uh, to spawn more at a time, to make them shut the hell up, and to turn off the AI on them. Which would be very useful if they managed to escape. We just have to see if we have any chorus fruits. It's, we don't have here, but we might have in the storage on the ship. And I think it might be time for us to actually move out of the ship with uh, things getting a bit cramped in here. Let's see. Chorus fruit. Do we have any of... I think we picked some of that up somewhere at one point, at the very least. Yeah. Also, I think yes, we could... Final bit our own ship. 
Oh, that would be exciting to build your own ship uh, from scratch. It's That's true. Well, we're not exactly short on wood. Now we can make even more wood. And okay, if it is here, it's I'm completely overlooking it. And also, we have things we can. Yeah, we have magic turrets and all that, so we can have our own magical cannons. I could have sworn we found at least one of these somewhere, but maybe it got deleted with all of the server shenanigans. Wait, I think you ate it. Actually, yeah. hold on, could, did I put it in here? I, I put it in here. <laughs> Just because I said you might have eaten it, you realize it might be in the kitchen? Yeah, because it actually has food value, and I put everything with food value in that thing. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, climb this thing up again. And we only really need to have the... Well, we have the chorus fruit in our hands. And there we go. Disable mob AI for a spawner and use a rain, rain. spawner modifier to change the stats of a spawner. These are completely harmless now, and we even get free goodies from them. Now then. Wait. Is this basically now running on free energy? Sort of. I think Not the... <laughs> uh, I'm thinking of actually now not using this thing for our smelting anymore because this thing uh, very slowly but still would start filling up with blaze blood and oh that one's actually it's out, actually out of fuel at the moment. Um, let's fix that by right, getting a bucket. And if we do this, it should fill the bucket. We've sung, we've done this before with blood, I think, or maybe not on stream. Uh, there we go. One bucket of blazing blood, and there we go. So, yeah, now it's perpetual energy because every time for all the ones that die, we get more blood and we get more fuel to kill more of them. So you're just going to use this as a method of gaining blaze blood to fuel another forge? Basically, yeah. Because well, we can use funnels to run the, the blaze blood to another forge's uh, fuel tanks. Okay. I, I, maybe, maybe we could even automate the, the, the process of it filling in its own tanks here, but I don't... We need something to automatically activate it. Let's see. Seared channel. Five bricks needed. Luckily we have those in here now. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now... Uh, let's... Probably be easier to just put one of these tanks over here. Just temporarily, temporarily disable this thing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let, let's just remove these two here for a moment. Actually, you need to be a bit careful with these things because they, they are one way, which is actually marked by the arrows. And what the... Oh, I need to connect them to each other like that. Okay. Yeah, there. You can see the arrows in there a bit. There we go. We do need more of them, though. Yep. Unable to... St st okay, so that wasn't fixed. Hmm. Is it having trouble... Wait. 
Might it be from how much you've been exploring? That is just too much to be able to... for it to handle? Maybe. Hmm. This could mean that it's uh, having a reaction to two mining the biomes. Maybe. I'm not an expert in this. But I will not be surprised if but I will not be surprised if there is something like too many biomes. Yeah, I think the, the world might... I think we might have made the world too big with all of our traveling around. Yeah. But we'll just have to see how things go and... Oh, wait. So normally you should be able to make it even bigger, but due to there's so many different biomes for you to keep track of. Like, you, you remember when trying to use that uh, biome search list, how many damn li they were. Okay, let's see. We have... As long as we can have... We can run a bit of a test now. If this if this gets, gets eight buckets of blaze blood before this runs out, then it's uh, self-perpetuating. All right. If, yeah, I guess we can just build a smaller uh, forge right next here, which we can just use for specific uh, smelting. Be uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually more profitable to use mechanism to multiply your ores. This would be better for yeah, just getting the alloys and such. Let's see. So far, it seems to be about one to one at the moment. 20 millibuckets for every 20 millibuckets used. Actually, that, no, it, that may, then, that it is running at a better efficiency than one to one because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get eight buckets. And again, it ran on lava at first. We'll just have to see how things go. For now, uh, let's see. Yeah, here then. Okay. And we surround it. I think that's a rare time I heard someone yell in your background. Yeah. Okay, then over here we can this and these we can swap out with fuel tanks. Do we actually have those in the tablet here? Just picking off, let's just dump out some stuff. Uh, we can't put all the molly in this, which on the one hand is annoying, but on the other it does ensure that it stays rare. Yeah, otherwise. Yeah. Okay, we don't have Ooh, a smeltery controller. Uh, how do you make those again? Smeltery controller. Okay, some bricks, and then we pour some copper over it. Four ingots. Okay. So, copper. Okay, three, four. I don't think blazing blood alloys with anything. Because it would be a rather poor fuel source if it did. And grab one of these. Put them in there. And we pour the copper over it. Hmm. Why? Huh? To make the controller. Oh! I uh, don't think we'll have much use of this. So, seared, seared glass. We don't have any fuel tanks stored in this. Oh well. Just need one of these. And we'll just have to make some fuel tanks. Let's see. Seared. And then we have fuel tank. 
fuel gauge. Alternate smelt for your heart. Retains liquid when broken. Ingot tanks. Okay. Seared lantern. Okay. Might make some of those. Now these are five glass and four bricks. Okay. One, two, three, four. And we should have enough glass here. Yep, plenty of glass. And in the meantime, the places are going to keep dying in the background. <laughs> There we go. We just put this into here. And there we go. Not, not using the hammer for that. I'm pretty sure the yeah. smeltery would retain the, the liquids inside it, but better to not risk it. Yeah, or... Oh, wait, did you make the blazes docile? Yeah. All right, good. And uh, otherwise, we that will could cause uh, a lot of disaster. Yeah. Okay. Let me just do this and that, but not like that. But not like. There we go, disable that. Okay, and then when we do this... Here, this, uh, is, this is breaking our little experiment, but I do think... Even if we get less out of this than we put in, we can still just fuel it with lava. Oh, this one's facing... These are facing the wrong way. Somehow. And... Okay. Hmm. Actually, it might be better to just have this thing burn out. Then we put in one bucket. Then once that is emptied out, we can actually see if it does make more than it uses. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Okay. So we just empty this out. Yep, it's not there's not enough left in there. Okay, about half a bucket worth. Alright, and you are you're athletic, agile, but nothing too much else. I think athletic is good for builders and some other professions. Uh for builders it was adapt adaptability and something else. Uh, let's see, manage workers, athletics, and adaptability. So that that one would be, you know, would measure out pretty low on that. Actually, how are they doing with building? Okay, still on the guard tower. What guard? Oh, actually, I think I know what guard tower. Or is it still trying to make that one? No, it's... This house is under construction. So... Okay, it's probably that guard tower. But can he actually reach that? Nope. Okay, he'll have to dig it out first. That's the problem, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I put these down as a... For a yeah, residential district. There's these two houses and then two more along with another guard tower over here to keep watching the tavern, because they're saying over here that they're uncomfortable without a guard nearby. So we still need to build one over there. I hope you're still making your best to make sure there's enough space between them to walk past all that. Yeah. I do get the previews and such. They shouldn't be able to get over this. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing they will be busy with bit digging for quite a bit. What are your stats? Okay, pretty good all around. Yeah, if we were not to need to uh, restart this, 
we would need to uh, just build on the surface instead. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hide uh, all of oh, those. Yeah. I just realized I, I have heard about uh, all mod six, and I think the, the person that I heard I've heard about the all mod six or seven said that all mod six was very unstable. Okay. Uh, we. Yeah, we have some colonists that are unhappy about not having a job, so let's actually get started on that as well. Uh, we'll need a hospital, at the very least, to keep people, well, <laughs> yeah, to, so I don't have to go running around with carrots and potatoes all the time anymore. In what direction should we build it in, then? Um, that is a good question. We have the residential district that we're building over there. Um, it, it would make sense for it to be somewhat nearby yet. True. So probably at the other side of the guard tower then, I think. A good yeah, part of that we, is already open. Yeah, can we be more towards the foundry the better? Since so far the only areas we've been towards is well, not the foundry. Yeah, we we'll want to be careful with building towards the foundry. Uh, yeah. After, we could basically on the mini, we could go like this at the moment. Just go L-shaped. Once we take it over, we can move in. Oh, that should make a lot of things easier. And if we still need to dig out the damn roof, um, then I say just dig down instead. For, actually, yeah, it, it's pretty easy to dig down than up. Uh, true. Uh, let's see. Oglog. Let me just make some planks. Who's Oglog? No, oh, it's. It, wait, it's not out. Okay, so that's a little bit odd. Okay, let the test begin then. If we can get one box. Actually, we probably should have we should have emptied it out first. <laughs> okay, we currently have 780 millibuckets, and yes, yeah, so that was MB stands for millibuckets. <laughs> if by the time that runs out, we have we okay, it uses 100. For each one that gets thrown in, no, it's used that over time. Hmm. Okay, it might not actually be self-sustaining if it used this 300 to kill them. And... Hmm. But we got 400 out of that, so uh, that is a one-third gain, I think. Hmm. Not really that big of a gain, is it? True, but over time it would add up, since, well, they keep spawning in through it. Actually, let me do one thing here. Just have an emergency bucket at hand, as well as this. And the other one we can just toss. So this, this is the bucket library. All right. Uh, anyways, what I was thinking. Hospital, we need the build tool for that. Uh, not a waypoint. Uh, where is the build tool? It's missing. Okay. Actually, speaking of... Okay, no, it's the, the backpack is still here. Did I put it in here? No. Okay, I think the build tool might have gotten eaten during everything as well, then. We're gonna leave it... Oh, well, we can just make another. They're pretty cheap anyways. Just a stick. Yep. And stone. So... Stick, one, two, 
stone. One, two, and three. No, not not a stone wand. It's a building wand. Is it? Does it need clean stone? There's black stone. Yeah, it's going. It should be going through the the different types. Yeah, but maybe it's supposed to be clean stone. Hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe we can't put that away. Uh, not smooth stone. There we go. Normal stone. I might as well grab a whole stack of this, just to be sure. Or did I just mess up? Let's see. There we go. No, not clean stone. Okay. It shouldn't be just... It shouldn't be limited to just black stone. Uh, actually, I think we got our first uh, build tool... Uh, there we go. We got the first build tool from the racks on the ship. Yeah. I think. Uh, I, I'm going to figure out how to do that. Otherwise, bloody heck. Okay, got some planks. And uh, there's the carrot. Yep. Wood around. And the build tool for a hospital. Okay. Um, beyond that. Oh, we also need, what is it called, a university? Yep, a university, which is two books and planks. Okay, we should have books in this as well. Yep. Okay. So, planks, planks, books, and not the stone wand. <laughs> build tool there we go now we can put these two down and yeah get some more of our colonists employed or at, at least get to work towards getting them employed probably should put that there <laughs> make it useful uh let's see the university we should probably put down first since that thing is pretty freaking big okay should we see we can uh, oh dear uh, dig down a little bit or right may it fit let's see Okay, no, it's still freaking big. Let's just move to level... F yeah. <laughs> the university plots are big, as you can see. Uh, oh, hello. This one might actually be the smallest. Oh, but it's going to use quite some complicated things at level 5. I How big is that going to be? Really big, I get the feeling. Uh, let's see, lower it. No, actually, not that tall at all. It has uh, a garden on top? Hmm. And how is this at level one? Okay. This should be pretty doable. Yeah, just, then, yeah, just lower it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I actually didn't know that this one was this small because all the other ones tend to be pretty big. This yeah. one's still sizable, but not as big as... Uh, let's see, which was the one that I ended up going with in... I think it was this one. And yeah, <laughs> as you can see, this gets pretty freaking big. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the true dwarven one. 
It's also really big. And fancy. Okay, so we're going with the fortress one. Just for the fact that otherwise it would take up an entire uh, an entire football field's worth. Yeah, do, let's take a look at the area so we see we can make it even. For, otherwise you need to make more stairs to reach it somehow. Okay, this is a, a ground floor. And what is the ground floor over here? Hmm. Yeah, which? Actually, we should probably go with this as the ground floor level for this area. It, which means we're going to have to dig down a little bit on that end. Yeah, that's actually as good that we start digging down a little bit. A bit more material and just make it easier for the builders. And ourselves. Yep. And, and yeah, but it should also make it easier for the roofing. And well, we can also use well once we actually build it the digging the mining turtle. We can actually use that to auto mine an area for us. Let me get this out. Uh, this mining turtle is a basically some sort of golem. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, you're all a bit of a golem maker, artificer, and all that. Just make sure it doesn't go on a rampage. <laughs> okay, just digging this to see how much of a ledge or staircase we'd have to build to get it even or to have these levels meet up reasonably. Not too bad, actually. Just two levels. Then... I'm, I'm trying to think of the, to... how the road would go. Yeah, you just need to remove another wall there. You have a quite a decent uh, road. And we can have this move up. Then on this level, it can stay and just dips down here. Uh, here, it's here. Okay, that should work for the most part, I think. So let's fill this hole back up so that, yeah, nothing starts wandering inside. And I, actually, I, I forgot to talk about something I was going to bring up earlier, uh, which... Oh. Is the thing that would be useful in the uh, in the Blaze Forge, which is uh, like I said, then we have it's something that we talked about earlier, and it's if I let's see inter or is it inter there it is the interdiction torch, which we need the philosopher's stone for. Uh, the th the thing I th uh, said originally about this is that prevents enemies from spawning. But that's what general torches do. What this actually does is uh, prevent enemies from even getting close to it. Okay. So. The supposed to be got hit up. <laughs> do I still have the philosopher's stone over on this workbench? It doesn't look like it. Okay. I very much doubt that we have one in here. Nope. So we'll have to make a new one of that, and let's not drop that. Where did I put it somewhere? Not in here, at least. But yeah, with that, we could... Basically, if we surround the colony with those, it should keep enemies outside. But, uh, well, as you can see here, they're pretty pricey, with three diamonds each. Yeah... Pretty pricey indeed. Okay. Uh, let's finish placing this. And yes, I will pick that back up. <laughs> let's see, how are we even on... Okay, we... Uh, how, 
How yeah, late did they this start? It, it, 8.15 it, about, have, I think. Yeah. 8.15, so we have a... Uh, we, have, we still have uh, plenty of time. True. Uh, which means that we're just now about an hour in. Actually, I should have a timer running somewhere in OBS. Uh, let's... Oh, that's in the stats bar, but which is typically in the corner of the, my main screen. So we we're not getting any of that at the moment. Okay. So we'd have stairs here, and then we'd connect to the main road again here. Um, should it be immediately or have a bit of space? Yeah, let's give it a bit of space and then the main road would continue like this. Okay, then keeping a bit of distance again. We should... Yeah, this distance about... And then just need to line up. There we go. That should do. Mm. Yeah. If not, we it should be able to just move the building eventually. I believe that is an yeah. option in the game. Yeah, and... We should be able to fix the roof here a bit easier, since it should not be as tall as the other wings. Yeah. Let's put some so stuff away. Would it help if we can finally learn the spell for a re explosion? Yeah, but we still need a firework star for that, and we still don't know how to get those, actually. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the YouTuber told you several times now has a video about it that's about over 40 minutes long that shows even how to make them okay uh, that's the hospital we have we don't need that to see how big we need to dig here okay uh, okay one more i've should... I wouldn't really need to dig besides it, but we're going to level this area out anyways. Okay. Now we just follow the line. The builders are still busy with other stuff at the moment, but we can probably prioritize this to be built next. Because there are some buildings that we can't actually start building uh, until we actually have them researched here. And bes besides that, there are also other things that are useful to be researched, like the ability to have a chance of, uh, com of uh, colonists getting revived upon death. Ooh, fancy. Since, well, <laughs> would be very useful to retain those expensive uh, builders that we've got. And the game is being yeah, the game is being uh, sparse with the music again for some reason you know they usually even many youtubers have have a sparse with the music yeah, i i know there are programs that you can use to have music playing during a stream but not have it be recorded on a vod or such uh yeah, there it's the hub point i could possibly look into that what the? Look up. Yeah, one of the squids. <laughs> oh. Basically, that means we should probably be careful. Yeah, the squids are harmless. Uh, the, these Walden, for those, we do need to be a bit careful. Oh, oh it, it's not the squids or the wild I'm worried I'm worried about uh, flooding. Water. Yeah, again, flooding. It could be useful to make some nice decorative fountains and all that. Though, 
it could be good to not have it stun and flow down on the damn hospital. True. It was over there, so there is a good chance that we can still... That it isn't above us, but we'll find out if it is. If not, if it is, we'll just have to... <clears throat> we'll just have to see about uh, dredging it all, or drying it all up. Okay, how deep is it going to go this time? Okay, further... Who has basement? Yep. There we go. I haven't seen these run out on the other side yet, but we'll see if they are actually permanent now or not. And if they aren't, well, we're going to have a bit of a problem when they start running out. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's going to cover about the same ground as above, of course. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty deep, actually. <laughs> well, it just means more stone. Yep. Oh, and <laughs> accidentally mining out the mage lights. Uh, actually, if lucky, it also means we may not need to dig as much up. True. It is only... Yeah, it's, it's going to be far less upward building. Okay. Hmm. We'll be able to see if we can still repair this thing with stone in a bit. Is that a zombie groaning? Anyways, once this is dug out, we can start work on the walls. And oh. I'll have to double check how to make the XOR gates, or however you're actually uh. supposed to name those. Uh. Yes, I'm not tricking him. Nope. Oh dear. Uh, I one thing. Hmm? Oh, Go ahead. One. <laughs> I was asking. I was asking if we. Do you think we are anywhere ready to take on the foundry? Uh, the the blazes there are going to be uh, the main issue, I think, since they spawn in the air. But if we get hmm. some stuff with fire protection and amplify our range spells with this enough, we should be able to take it. Yeah, uh, wait. I want to... Have you upgraded enough to learn ice spells? Uh, hmm, we'll have to check if we can get those glyphs in the first place. Okay. There you go. And yeah, we can still repair it with stone. Nice. We have plenty of that. No, not soapstone, apparently. Uh. Okay. Continuing on. Hmm. I should see if I can make this thing quicker, since it is supposed to be our tunneling thing. I actually, no, we... The main problem we were having it was that it broke too er it broke so soon. So sacrificing a bit of mining speed uh, for less repair, less constant repairs. Yeah, we we'll pro we can live with that, I think. Yeah, it doesn't take too slow to mine either. Okay. Says sure, we were able to mine much faster earlier. But bloody heck, we need to repair it extremely often, which took uh, more time in the yeah. long run. So this way we're in a more... 
Might actually be my enforcer due to be not uh, needing to repair as oftenly. Uh, let's see. Okay. Just so we can get out easily without having to just dig a path up. I can break those later. Uh, wouldn't it be tricky for the builders to reach the table now? And they don't need to reach it. They just have to be in the area to be able to place stuff. Like, we saw that uh, when they were digging. They they were on the ground floor, and still they were able to dig all the way up. Ah, true. True. And I think okay. there's a upgrade in the university that allow builders to build quicker, and in a special manner that speeds it up. Yeah, it wouldn't be surprising. Okay, just finish this off, and then we can set them to work, hopefully. Um, I think one of them was working on a house earlier, but I'll have uh, to yeah, check. Yeah, I think so. I think they were working on a house, yeah. And the original one was noted as working on a guard tower. Okay, that's gold, or not all the malium. That would have been a very odd surprise. <laughs> yeah, and also... Pr yeah, it would be one of those uh, situations you'd probably be very happy and also very angry. Yeah. Considering for how far and why you've been trying to find them. Okay. Uh, if we would have to swap back to Automod 6, I do know that there is one mod in there that I really like. Uh, Mechanism is already still in there, but also Thorncraft, which is a mod I personally enjoyed quite a lot. The, I wonder, is the Automod 6... Updated for the, uh, this version of Minecraft? No, we'd have to go back to an older version. Yeah, that's already warning signs for me. It's, we still got plenty of stuff following after us. Sounds more like we're probably better off just taking better Minecraft than importing better Tinker mod. It's... Not much of this that we can actually put into the tablets. Okay. Uh, first of all, sword. Uh, let's not forget about this thing. Like I said, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, we're just we're going to need to empty our inventory. Let's see. All right, this that's the same upgrade as before. Again. Okay then, um, backpack, oh, oh, that that explains a lot about how, all of the stuff we've been picking, yeah, got following after us. Okay, all the modium, let's put those hearts there, the cast chest we should put back, hospital, uh, war hammer. Uh, you got a war hammer? No, the ore hammer. Oh, the little bullshit one, all right. Let's see, sleeping bag, we can put that away. There are broom. Let's see, that should be... Okay, that's everything that we need to keep. Okay. Yeah, that's way too much soapstone to be useful. Okay, let's see. I saw... Cauldron. I saw bricks. I saw mossy bricks. Also, because I had to feed, the, give it these, yeah, give the builder these things for the. Yeah, this is the third time I think for giving these. Okay, four bookshelves, twenty corn flowers. Go back. Four. Uh, pardon. Pardon. There we go. Put these in there as well. Oxide daisies and racks. 
one, two, three, four. Rack one, two. A bed and two spruce doors. Okay. We have a, in the, uh, don't we have a lot of beds in a box? Yeah, I put all of those in this thing to make space. Uh, you monster! <laughs> okay. Um, let's grab some of this cobblestone. And then we can start on the wall. So that at least this is somewhat defended. Um, hmm. Let's just keep it simple for the moment. There, now they can't get out. And now we just need to make sure that nothing can come in. Next to you. Mm. Gravel. Is it really is it really worth making a wall against that? Well, monsters could move in uh, into here oh. from other places, and also that. Yeah, it looks more like you have easy time just blocking that up. Uh, I think it's just in general a good idea to just have it go all around the building area. Some dark ore. That one, this one. For a moment, I thought that, <laughs> that one wasn't going to show up. That's some reach. There we go. This should be safe against most things. We can expand it later, though. Probably off stream. Sound the dragon. Uh, oh, no. I just remember one of Shadow Versity's memes that he invented. There we go. Should have it as the highest priority. And what memes were you thinking about? What about dragons? <laughs> Can I like a, a reply to a if in is like if you like uh, is this kind of a, a question to you ask to anything like security of a wall? What about dragons? Uh, or something else to it, like, uh, how good a fridge is. What about dragons? It, yeah, I think you can see how well it's going. Yeah. And... It, it can be hilarious at the right time. Okay, I think, I thought, we had mage lights here before, I think, so they do eventually run out again. Okay, speaking of run out, this one is out, or at least it doesn't have enough to keep... Pardon? You still haven't uncarbonated those drinks, it seems. I actually forgot to add uh, ice into this one. So I forgot to kill the carbonation, basically. Okay. One bucket, one empty smelter. Let's see how that goes. Already we... Okay, already. That's quite a bit. 
yeah, 220 for 600 in turn, yeah, it's it runs at multiple. It just depends a bit on how many blazes are in there at the moment, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, mining turtle. Also, we should probably get rid of some of this. Uh, mining turtle. How were those made again? We need the all the modium for that. Okay, advanced mining turtle. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what would be the difference. Could we upgrade a mining turtle to a advanced one? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Turtle. Okay, computer and iron. Computer is made with glass, uh, glass pane, stone, and red uh, stone. Okay. Uh, we can't put glass panes into the transmutation thing, but we can just, well, we can just make it. Uh, please remember, people, computers are normally not by, made by stone, but remember, he is the alchemist and artificer. So... Yeah, he's Get not some... using normal materials for this. Get some clean stone. Actually, I, I'd be impressed you can make a worky computer just out of stone and glass in real life. Probably not. Well, they... Well, Roddy Tops uh, and the zombies invented... Um, <laughs> the web? The web with actual web. Okay, make that. Do I have uh, to confess, that is still somehow damn genius. Like, if your computer is just basically just web, it it's not going to take up space at all. Yeah, let, let's keep it to a normal mining turtle. I'm not sure what we it could re, what we'd really gain from making an advanced one in turn. Okay, now we just need a pickaxe. Easy as that. And then we just slap the two together. There we go, one mining turtle. Okay, the thing with these things, though, know, is... Uh, I'm already we... worried. Okay. Let's head back over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that came out from out of nowhere. Okay, um... Let's see, if we heck? set it down... We have to program it. Uh -oh. uh, luckily... You, you, know, you can shortcut some of these. And, and let's see... Uh, excavate... Yep. Or at least it'll talk about them. If we do... One, it's, we'll dig, it will start digging out, or it'll try to dig out an excavation area of one by one. But it's out of fuel. So we just put in some fuel and we repeat the program. And there it goes. And either once it hits the bottom or runs out of fuel, it'll come back up for <laughs> over here to be unloaded. So yeah, we'll... You put it there of all places? <laughs> As an example, mostly. Uh, but yeah, basically if we dig up to the top of... Uh, where we need to dig, uh, you know, where we need to dig out the area for this, we would basically just need to tell it to excavate the area of this, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 16, about, I think. It looks like a complete square. So, yeah, we just need to get up to the top, tell it to excavate 16, give it some fuel, and off it would go to do a lot of the hard work for us. Or rather, the annoying work for us. Nice. We could even tell it to do more than that size, just to, you know, just in case. True, but it it would keep digging down afterwards after it reach it would reach this level though. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, now that ain't it basically a bit of a danger now? Uh, not really. Just send that after it. Wait, did it? <laughs> I think it just mined the mage light. Oh, it's already coming up. So either it's out of fuel. Yep, it broke the other mage lights. Yep. Okay, I didn't expect please expect it to spit it all out. <laughs> okay, this just means we have to put up a chest. Uh, That's adorable. Okay, so we just dig it up. I'd be so angry if that actually fell down into the bottom of the pit. Okay, uh, where's the building tool? There is the building tool. So we put something down again just to have, as, just so we can see the outlines again. Why is there a rail going to be behind this? <laughs> then we just grab a stack to climb up. Wait, did I misplace that? Yeah, just grab it. Oh wait, I, of course I pressed put all the same stuff in here, in there. So of course it was going to put the stone back in. Okay. Still further. Still further than that. Looks like we'll still have to dig quite a bit up. No, actually, <laughs> never mind. Okay. And then we just dig that out there. We put the turtle in a little gap here. And then we put the chest over here. And yeah. Excavate 16. This this probably isn't enough to keep it running for the entire thing, but at least as a showcase. Okay, and if it works correctly, it should put all of the stuff that it digs out into this chest now that it's accessible. Okay. And now we basically just wait. <laughs> okay, that should make a lot of things easier. Okay. Just for the safe way down. There we go. Now, uh, let's put this away, just so we don't have to keep looking at it all the time. Uh, what can we do in the meantime? The sun is setting, so the workers will be stopping soon enough. They have been working here. This was only 1% earlier, I think. Nice. There's our guard. Our knight in, with a fancy hat and mustache. <laughs> uh, this one is still trying to work on a guard tower, so they must still be excavating. You probably see if that uh, guard tower needs help excavating. I could have just gone this way. Okay, this one. Let's see, have they been digging here at all? Okay, ground floor should be easy enough. Yeah, it's literally just one down there. Okay, so that means they've probably been trying to dig at the ceiling. 
but I can't really see if they actually have touched it or not. Hmm. Yeah, they need to dig through the ceiling there. Okay. Let's go check in on the turtle for a moment. Probably won't be too visible yet. Probably should bring nope. more fuel for it. True, that block of coal is going to burn it out pretty quickly. Oh, I can hear it. I can't see it though. Oh, it found water. Let's Ooh, help it a little bit water. just to break that off. But as you can see, it is actually going pretty quickly. And it happened. <laughs> Should I add a, as a party or profit or something to my title? <laughs> it should be out of them. Nope. Okay, so this is a small little uh, pond that we dug into. Okay, it can't it can't break source blocks, so we have to do that ourselves. Hmm. Wait, I can see. Hmm. Yep, this is a source block. Wait, is that wood? Oh, no, that's <laughs> that's from the building itself, or at least the outline of it. Okay, that's most of it gone. Oop. It won't go back uh, to areas that it's already dug around. So, we do need to clean this up ourselves. And there we go. Yep. <laughs> Immediately, huh? It's adorable. Okay, now we can just leave it to continue its work. Put down some lights. To keep this area mostly safe. Wait, mobs can attack it? Uh, no, just just to keep them from spawning into this area and dropping it on us. Ah, uh, point taken. That uh, it can levitate. Yep. That's good. That's damn good. All right. I'll just have to wait for it to finish up. And I don't remember if we should be able to just have it cancel its job mid uh, work so it doesn't actually go digging for the core of the planet. It may get that idea. I'm so worried. Okay, two buckets and 20 mill uh, buckets. So, yeah, we got, multi we got more going uh, out than in. Uh, we can screw with the spawner a bit more. Let's see. Uh, ignores light plus two max. We need gas tears for that, so no on that. Spawn count for that we need fermented spider eyes. Uh, sugar will, yeah. uh, <laughs> will speed up how frequently they spawn. And still unable to start a backup. Oh, that was 
That was the guard I saw running past. I for a moment I thought one of the blazes spawned outside. Oh, that yeah, yeah that would be concerning. Okay. Um let's skip to the uh, day. Um yeah, let's have another look at this guard tower that they're trying to dig out. Let's hmm. Higher than that. The higher than that. Should be only a little bit higher than this. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, this is... That's quite a bit. Yeah, that is quite a bit. I would say it's not that much, but considering how high it goes. Uh... Okay, get rid of these. And then we start digging here. We can just we can leave the turtle to the other one whilst we do this manually for the moment. Not too many. Actually, we can just block that off. So nothing can spawn on the ledge. Except for... Yeah, I'm too used to having the pickaxe on two instead of one. There. Oh, oh they have been digging here. They've just been digging from the top to bottom. That may so... explain why it looks like they never did anything for us. Yeah, their work was out of sight. Literally. Okay. We'll see how much the turtle will have gotten done in the meantime. I heard a block break next to us. Yep, yeah, they're, they're digging again. Okay. Hmm. I wonder which of our builders this is, because the, the one we got should be pretty quick with digging. Or maybe they just have bad tools at the moment. In which case, I'll have to make them better ones. Very possible. Okay. This guard tower should keep most of the rest of the colony covered, though we'd probably have to build one right next to the builder's hut as well, or at the original builder's hut, that is. We'll have to clean that up. There we go. Okay. Maybe they should be able to deal with the last bit. Can we remove that? And then they should get the <laughs> get the building finally. And yeah. We need to put down a guard tower in here as well. That's for now, the university should take priority. Still, we can uh, actually... Do we have any swords or bows left in storage here? And do. Uh, okay. Let's with the slowdown. Um... 
Is it maxing out its memory or something? Yes, it is. 100% usage of the allocated memory. But no, 43. That. Okay. Now let's try to quickly grab a bow or a sword then. Uh, let's hope that the a damaged one is acceptable. Uh, I guess that's all the more reason to move out of this place because it's starting to slow down again for no apparent reason. There. Yeah, that's real freaking strange. Yeah, very hmm. strange. Okay, if I recall correctly, it's just bow, wood, and yeah, the builder's tool. Also, I think these still haven't gotten any... Yeah, they have still haven't gotten anything done. Uh, that's because, actually, they can't farm. Uh, remember that uh, option that we turned off that uh, prevented mob griefing? Yeah, it also prevents them from breaking plants to farm them. Uh, so if we want them to, uh, to work... We... Be... Uh, we need to risk creepers blowing our stuff up. That's not worth it. It's better to make the colonists do the farming for. I've seen how damn effective they are. Uh, wait, was it up there or? They probably be more effective than the, than those villagers. We'll have to see. Guard tower. Okay, bow in the middle. There. And then here, and okay, two guard towers. Thank you. Um, if you put in the wall over there or something, it should uh, have enough roof space. Uh, we needed to cover the workspace of the builder here first. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So let's have it next to the road here not that uh, yeah, just what stone. the heck what uh, shape was that a silly st uh, for some and in the normal one it goes to this or unless at the max level it goes to that and so yeah we're just going with the normal stone which becomes this eventually yeah, that looks better even, actually. Okay. The, the old one looks like something you would put a siege tower on top. Or something like a cannon or a catapult. Trebuchet even, perhaps. Okay. Uh, you realize you make it go into the floor with the doors. So you may want to raise it up uh, one uh, block. Uh, Never we can mind just dig then. this out. Uh, I must think you, or, uh, of, you need to dig out the, off the road. Oh, just as we put that down, one of the guard towers was finished. Was that actually the one that we helped dig out or just over there? I think it is because we, there's now a bump on the side of the minimap. Or on, now there's a, a bump of our territory on the side of. Yep, yep it's already done. Nice. Also, I remember I forgot something here with the university. I actually forgot to tell them to start building it. And it looks like the turtle is done. Build options, start building. Perfect timing, it seems. Nope, someone joined as a knight. And one of the builders has started on a house as well. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, let, let's sort this all out. Yeah, we should probably so tell one of the towns to also recruit either, either druids or archers. For we need gonna need both. Uh, yeah, we can probably set the new one as that. Uh, a druid or archer? Uh, uh, remember, druid. druids you do did... heal. Yeah. Actually, it would need to be built first, or actually, that <laughs> I thought I heard combat, but no, that's the blazes that were digging and dying. Uh, let's see, where would we actually set it? Uh, you need they need to be built so you can tell, tell it what uh, you want it to be. Then okay. it will auto recruit uh, someone for the role. Then we can fire the new one because. I think we'll probably be building around this more. It, it kind of makes sense about Druid near the tavern. You know, hangovers. Uh, let's see, only 10 on that. Better than that. Uh, yeah, automatically do this. Uh, hmm. Let's do this manual at the moment. Fire you and hire a druid. Uh, yeah, let's let's hire Omar as a druid. Okay. And where are they then? Let's see. Who are you? Want hay? And you are pretty decent from the look of it. Yeah, hey, should be easy. Let's see. Uh, this is one of our own. It's just audible. Uh... Okay, that's another one of ours. It's the ones with the square block above their head that we want to talk to for hiring them. Problem is, of course, that they're wandering around quite a bit. <laughs> and you... Oh, well, we can feed them to have them stay a bit longer. Okay, I didn't... You want books? You are good in strength and agility and stamina. As... Oh, I think this one would make a very good druid, I think. Or Ooh, a good yeah. fighter overall. Even what good is... mod, Just very high mana. So you would be excellent druid. Go. So yeah, we may find our perfect druid. Okay, the guard tower is already good. in there. Uh, there you are. Not good enough, eh? There we go. Demi F. Cod is now a citizen. This is slowly but surely progressing. Okay, manage workers, druids. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. And. Uh, there we go. Okay, that was a good decision. Um, Omar Cobham, you are in our, in our colony already. Let's see. Uh, one of the. Uh, no, you're not the builder. You're. Let's see. You want cakes? You're. A, say you're traveling trader of high intelligence. Okay. So Very for the university. Or. Um. That, that, oh, really? okay. Here's a trick. There's knowledge and intelligence. Let's see. I'll think. So... To, uh, we already saw you. Yeah, we'd need to know which uh, stats specifically are really needed. You want enchanted books. And, oh, you are very good with creativity and knowledge. Hmm. We do have a lot of useless 
<clears throat> a lot of useless uh, enchanted books. So let's actually go grab some for him. And we should have one more open bed after that, I think. Still the slowdown. In this area, why is the slowdown here? Is there something around here that's causing the slowdown? Not sure. Let's see. Better falling, that's useful. Projectile, projectile, sweeping edge and sharpness. Wall running. Okay, and the holding. Projectile and feather falling. Efficiency and impaling. Phalanx. We can get rid of that. But we need... I think it was said six or eight. I, we're definitely keeping that. Keeping that. We we can ditch this. Projectile protection, piercing, tombstone bound. I don't think that is of any use to us. Another one. Okay, that's four. Another. And another. Maybe they should stack. Blessing. Chance to receive a short buff when hit. Maybe useful. But we don't need multiple of it. That is seven. Okay, let's drop off some of our ores. Let's freeze up enough space to get everything again. Actually, uh, no, let's not bring it up. It would come out slow anyways. There we go. Hmm. 341 creatures being rendered. No, 26. There's 42 creatures total of uh, 367 that would be nearby or something. Is it reacted hmm. to the damn cows? Uh, we don't have that many cows, but... I think in the actually options uh, visual, let's actually drop this sum to 12 chunks. That should drop the amount of stuff that could get simulated whilst we are busy. It, okay, now it might be what's causing the backup thing uh, to fail. Yeah, that it has too much stuff to do. Uh, was it you, Aldington? No, you want hay. We had a stable, so we'd reason. probably find them there. You. There we go. Your citizens urge you to build a warehouse. This will lighten your backpack and they may get materials faster. Alright. Uh, yeah, we could build that as well as a courier's post, actually. That would get some uh, someone a job as well. Uh, how do you make those again? Let's see. Oh, well, you post. put some wood and yes. stone together and hope we put those in our house. <laughs> no, some boots and wood. Do we have leather in here? No, we, we have leather boots directly. Uh, a single torch we have left. <laughs> boots. Wood. And I just realized something. Tool. I think I know what happened. I think during one of your times where you were trying to see further away, increase the sight. Yeah. And that's where it might have started to go tricky issues with the failing to save. Maybe. We'll have to see next time that it tries to. There we go, a warehouse. 
Uh, where did I just... I'm pretty sure I just pulled a Curious... There it is. No, that's a guard tower. There it is, the Curious Hut. Okay. Uh, yeah, the warehouse. We should probably build that near an industrial area. Which will probably be over here about. We'll have the university here, hospital next to it, and then we can build industry that way. All right. And in the meanwhile, we can probably use the digging turtle. Uh, where is it? Or did we not pick it up? It, we didn't pick it up. Yeah, it, it, you didn't pick it up. <laughs> Okay, we can have it start digging out the area above the other houses that we boarded up. You say we a lot. <laughs> so I'm not sure you mean me, me dragging me into it, or if you have a... Right, how many helians are inside your head? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put some stuff in here to make a bit of room. And that. Uh, we can just ditch that bucket along with all of these. Okay. A lot of copper that it picked up. Ice! Wait, aren't we going over time now? Uh, oh, uh, just a bit, yeah. So, yeah, we can... S <laughs> I forgot <laughs> to set the timer. I I, I noticed that by pure accident. I just... Uh, I, I just after I yawn, I just looked at the clock and wonder what time is it. I realized, oh. Okay. Uh, we made good progress if, if it manages to stick this time. So, just in case to ensure that if it does get reset, that we immediately know. Where did you come from? Uh, I'm going to park right here at the construction site. So that if this guard tower is gone, then we know that uh, the safe screwed up again. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, I should probably put some floras underneath that. <laughs> I'm surprised he was allowed to build it like that. <sighs> well, Minecraft doesn't have any physics in it except for, well, the water and the gravel. Okay, that, that saved really quick. L let's actually immediately test out that. Um, yeah, it, it might have been the chunks. Maybe, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's let's take a look. Well, it's, it's busy with this. Let's go take a look for someone to raid. And of course, I have the browser behind the on the main screen behind the game, so it won't react until it is finally loading in, or it, at least it won't show up, because yeah, Minecraft is being pushy and keeping itself in the forefront now. I say we raid Lil Tree. Uh, if they're on, sure. Uh, if they're not, they did call we'll just me have adorable after all. <laughs> so we're nice and we'll be some revenge. And just for you, yes, we can raid her fridge. <laughs> I think that's more your plan for revenge. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's see who is on. Soviet Womble is on. Takahata is Gaijin Goomba, all pretty big yeah, boys. Kaiju uh, Takahata? Fluffs. Hmm? Did you say Takahata? Yeah, from Team Four Star. Oh, all right, wrong Takahata. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shanker Crab is on playing Pokemon Fire Red. Crab. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's someone who is. Uh, it, who's viewed my streams a few times? Uh, they're a pretty uh, chatty guy. 
I am, I'm stuck with the image of a one of those crabs all with a knife. <laughs> okay, mute sights. Then we go grab, go grab their name. Head to the channel. Double check. Okay, yeah, it's finished. It stayed the same. Okay, that is good news. Yeah, we so should, we should probably keep the it. simulation a lot smaller. Yeah, for we may have just uh, overloaded it. No, yeah. we oh definitely keeping keeping the memory high just to make things go smoother. Okay, might as well move on to. There we go. I really need to test how long or short the delay is with uh, the stream deck, or I might need to find. I might need to plug it in somewhere else. It might be that the port that it's using is being slow. Either way, slash raid, shanker crap. There we go. Okay. Uh, maybe a bit boring of a stream this time, but we still made progress. If, at the very least, in the game's freaking stability, in that it won't reset everything again. Yep, and we got to see the mining turtle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if it stays stable, then we won't need to go back to all the mod 6. Uh, uh, yeah, besides that, nothing much else. Um, we might try if... Actually, no, it, it won't be possible. I, I have a... Actually, might it be possible? We, we might be able... Actually, yes, we might be able to do a something Sunday this week uh, at its usual time of 3 p.m. or so, or maybe earlier, because I have a night shift that day. So we will be, we will be able to do a stream. <clears throat> Just maybe a bit earlier than normal. Um, for now, though, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Drake here. You're most welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Until Sunday, if we can stream. If not, until the next time after that. Because I'm not going to be doing... We've already done like four streams this week or so. Or at least three. I don't want to overdo it. This it. One. Okay, I don't want to do more than four in a week. Uh, so yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for grubs.